Hello, what's up? Flanagan B. I think the last video I posted was two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, the last video I share... The last video I share my first portfolio, the red file, I call it the red file, the unattractive photography portfolio, where I submit it to the universities as part of my uh, examination to get into photography course at RMIT University. That was back in 2006-2007. Of course, I got selected. They offered me a, they offered me a letter to continue my study. And so during the first year study, we have to choose three photography genre to determine what is my major on second and third year? So I chose documentary, still life photography and portrait. These three as part of my photography general on first, uh, on first year. Of course, the most interesting one that I enjoyed the most is documentary photography because I can go wherever I want. I just travel all around Melbourne, capture a few interesting stories and try to curate the image that I took. Let's say I photograph 200 to 500 images for a week and then I have to cut it down to 10 to from 10 to 12 images and tell a story as part of photo essay. That's my documentary assignment back in the days. And the good thing about continuing my study in Australia is there's lots of resources I can have, especially photo books at the library. I still remember the amount of photo book I can borrow at Victoria Library, at even my university, RMIT Library, like thousands of them. Like for the first time, imagine a guy like me who never went to library in my hometown. I spent almost half of my day for two, three days just at the library to look at a few photographs that hopefully give me some ideas. What's my next uh, documentary project will be. And of course, I do check still life photography and also portrait photography but my main focus most of the time is documentary so one day i walk around cbd i went a few bookshops to check a few photo books around there's lots of interesting photo book i mean like the latest photo book release but i feel like it's not important for me to collect it so <coughs> i think it takes a year for me to finally get myself a photo book which I don't think everyone knows who's this photographer his name is uh, Alessandro or Alessandro Rizzi he's an Italian like documentary photographer Ugh. he basically traveled all around Asia Pacific and also Europe since he's from Italy right to capture the life of people living in big urban cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, Tokyo and of course Rome and Berlin and Munich if I'm not mistaken. He has lots of interesting photographs in here that really opens my mind like how can I capture like urban documentary photography not only street photography there's lots of lights and also there's lots of uh, geometric involved in Alessandro Rizzi photograph. And I think in this book's Vision from Another World, there's a total of, I think, 75 images or 69, I can't remember. Like he's not well, he's not a well-known photographer, unlike other photographers you know in Magnum, but it's worth to purchase his book 
and it's worth to go and check out his work online yeah I recommend Alessandro Rizzi recommended and he's still part of my if people ask me who's your favorite photographer of all time I will mention Alessandro Rizzi most of the time because this book especially do change my mind about documenting the life of people who live in the urban area yeah it's like a mixture of street but not really a street photography but more on documenting the everlasting the ever-changing urban life of people all around, all around the world so imagine he took this photograph in Beijing like 12 years ago like imagine you return to Beijing right now of course things will change so that kind of documentary I wanted to do but unfortunately I don't have that will like him but at the end of the day I found out all the project Alessandro Rizzi do got grant he got like basically a foundation grant sponsored for him to do this project so I'm from Malaysia and in Malaysia it's not easy to get grant for photographer like me either you become a news photography and from there you can start your own documentary or you have to start your own photo studio doing wedding or domestic photography so if any Malaysian who's watching this video who knows how to get grant or even sponsorship to do this kind of documentary long term feel free to send me email this is my contact number I'm serious I wanted to do a project about Malaysia to document the life of Malaysia from now until maybe 10 years later when I was 40 years old in my mid 40s so the second photo book will be the famous Robert Frank the Americans yeah since everyone know he's Robert Frank he's a Swiss photographer from Switzerland moved to America wanted to make a name for himself and he managed to get a grant sponsorship by Guggenheim Art Foundation if I'm not mistaken to make this book the Americans and right now the Americans is like an icon for street photographer but I don't know why there's a total of 88 photograph in here out of thousands I think 60,000 image he took when he do this documentary all over America it's an interesting story not only from the photo book like how he managed to get a second hand car or used car and then travel all around America managed to develop his film with only his Leica rangefinder camera with one fixed lens so you can imagine just a simple tool he do he managed to document the life of the Americans back in the days yeah interesting photo book if you're a photographer if you're into documentary if you're into street photography everyone should have his book the Americans but of course I recommend this book to Alessandro Rizzi this is like the modern this is like the modern Robert Frank I dare to say or maybe only me yeah that's all for me Flanagan B I hope you like this short 10 20, 12 minutes video about why I love documentary photography why I like these two photographer as my main inspiration in photography more video about photography will be coming soon I really would like to share my technique photography for free online but my equipment is not with me right now in my hometown because I left all my equipment in Kuala Lumpur so once the MCO once this COVID-19 virus 
cooldown yeah I can produce more interesting video content of me wandering around capture the life the urban life people in Kuala Lumpur and also still life or studio portrait that I've been working as commercial photographer for the past eight years that's all for me, Flanagan B. Stay awesome. And if you like this content, feel free to follow me. I'm not forcing you guys. Yeah. Have a good day. Stay safe. Stay at home. Ciao.